scanners. This is our OinScan Pro 2X Plus. This has been a trusty beast. We have used this to scan multiple things, but we've started to run into more and more problems. Not because it's rubbish, but we ask more and more from it because we love it and use it. So one of the things we were trying to do, we were trying to scan a boot floor to design a boot floor mat, and it was a carpeted boot floor. And the light on this, it just couldn't, because what you're doing with this type, this is just a light projector, it's just like having a projector screen. You project a pattern on it and it sees the pattern, but of course you would never use black carpet as the projector screen because you just wouldn't better watch your movie. You want a white wall. So we used to have to spray everything with chalk spray and everything. Um, and that has done good, but we've used it so much, we have gone out, it's nearly Christmas, and bought ourselves a Christmas present. So we are gonna do an unboxing of our new OinScan Shining 3D. I think they're the same company. I, I don't quite get their marketing between the OinScan and the Shining 3D. But they have just sent us one of these. Sent us, goodness me, we bought it. They are thousands of dollars. Whoosh, pounds as well, euros, whatever. Right, so let's have a look what we've got. Look, a UK plug. That always helps, doesn't it? So that's a UK plug with a kettle lead, right? And then we got, wow, we're in a little, oh, we like that. Right, we got anything else in there, Alicia? No. no. Right. Right, what have we got in here? What have we got in here? Right, so we got, it looks a bit smaller. Oh, oh they, even that case is lush. Look, it's got little clips that, oh, I love cases like this. Right, so. We have got a calibration certificate, but we have to calibrate it. I think there are a load of dots. Either that or it's a Christmas card. Oh, it's a it's a it's an instruction brochure, quick start guide. I have watched some videos on this, so I know what I'm doing. We've got a power cord uh, and some power supply. Right. So this scanner, this scanner is wired. You have to have it linked to a. Now they have got a new one that is completely handheld. You don't even need to link it to a computer because they've built a computer in it, but it's much bigger. And I was tempted by it, it was more expensive, but you wouldn't better get in under things because it's just that much bigger. The Libra, if you want to see, but I didn't go for the Libra. I've gone for this badger, right. So this is the, now they do two. There's a combo and a combo plus. On the, there you go. And I paid a load more money for that little symbol. Um, but basically, this is gonna scan a lot quicker. Oh gosh, you can't put your hand like that, can you? Yeah. It's got stuff going on there. So this will do millions, that's like three million points a second. It will pick up with its laser point. And it can do something like 52 laser lines at a time, or seven, or one laser line. I wonder if this one is where it does the one laser line, because that can get right down into deep holes apparently. So that's that. So what connections have we got on the bottom? And it's some sort of a funky thing and another funky one. Um, and now obviously we've got to link this to a computer and that's going to go. Right then, what else have we got? We got more power leads and cables. So yeah, the adva disadvantage of this one is we are going to have power cables and power leads everywhere, unfortunately. What have we got here? Oh, a USB stick and a, a dongle. Now I think you need the dongle, I think you need to have the dongle in a computer for it to work. So this is a dongle for the software to work. That's sort of part of their security thing, I think. So we better not lose that. Right, and have we got anything else under the whoosh? It keeps on going. And I think they've given us a load of dots. Now, right, so we would just, I think we've got a calibration plate there. And I think we're supposed to have some dots somewhere. There you go, oh, we've got stuff in the top. There you go, packs of the little marker dots. Now, there's two modes you can scan when you're scanning. Now, the scan, when you're scanning, it needs to like link itself together, so it needs unique marks. Now, you can put markers on and you have to put them random, which is actually harder than you think to do. And then it recognizes the patterns. It's like the constellations in the stars. It, you know, like some of them are supposed to be like the plow. It recognizes it like, oh, there's the plow and it can see where it is relative to the plow. But it also has an infrared scanning mode and you don't need to put any markers for that one, as long as you're not just trying to 
scan a flat surface because it will never know where it is. But if you're doing like the inside of an engine bay or something, you can just do it in IR mode. You don't need to use any dots, which is good if it's someone else's car and they don't want you sticking dots all over it. So, right, let's just double check what else I've got in here. Oh, that's the dots. Is it dots? Look, dots and dots. That's absolute. Oh, I think they're different sizes, look. Three millimeter and six millimeter dots. So we are gonna go and do some scanning this week. So we're cutting it tight. We've only just got this today and today's Monday. And on Wednesday, we are gonna go and try and do some real life scanning. So um, we'll do a couple more videos on this. We'll do setting it up and doing a first scan, like step by step. But that's just the first unboxing. Um, and then we'll do some real life scanning videos, like scanning a boot floor. We're gonna do scanning some accessories of the new Maxus e 9. We're gonna do like the door handle bowls so that we can get a, a door handle cover made and maybe like the window door so we can have some wind deflectors made and stuff like that. But you can join us when we do that. But that's enough for the day in English here. Yeah. yeah. See you next time.